Olá, eu sou a Georgia Anunciação e esse é o nosso quarto e último episódio da websérie em comemoração aos 15 anos de Closure. Eu estive em Durham, Carolina do Norte, para falar com alguns dos colaboradores que são parte do time de Daytomic. O Daytomic começou a ser desenvolvido em 2010 e foi lançado para o mundo em 2012. É uma solução para a base de dados transacional, imutável e muito flexível. Rich Hickey também foi o designer de Daytomic, que é uma solução amplamente utilizada dentro da Nubank. O Daytomic nos permite entregar soluções simples para questões complexas com grande volume de dados. Confiram a seguir os nossos convidados especiais. My name is Robert Randolph. Hi, I'm Joe. Uh, Joe Lane. Uh, so my name is Joe. My name is Daniel Diaguiar. My name is Jared Benford. My name is Scotty Shaven. How long have you been working with Datomic? It's about two months. But since I started at the bank, I had some contact with Datomic, so that's about three years. I've been using Clojure since 2016. 2017, I think. I have been working with Datomic adjacently for four years. I have been on the Clojure and Datomic team since 2016. I started using Clojure in 2010. What are the biggest challenges in developing and maintaining a database management solution? Satisfying users' um, data access needs in a performant way. I would say helping our customers understand how to use the software in an effective way. The biggest thing about databases is they have to think about scalability all the time. And that is one of the key concepts of, of Datomic is that we accumulate data over time. Like we don't delete data, we just accumulate facts about changing data. I think that one of the biggest challenges to working on Datomic is that we are at the bottom level of a lot of people's uh, application. And uh, making a change uh, at that level, it, you want to be careful about breaking someone else. That's always a, a concern for our team. What do you think that are the main points that distinguish Clojure from other programming languages? I think that there's this pervasive, the pervasive use of a consistent abstraction, so the sequence abstraction, right? I only have like four data types. It's, it's so easy. I don't have to make a class. I don't have to make factory, I don't need to, you know, none of that. When they're trying to solve a problem, uh, you don't want to be dealing with type theory or... You, you, you want to really stay connected to your problem and Clojure helps you do that um, through like relentless focus on, on data processing. It's understand the problems that you're trying to solve. Before you go into building, identify what the problem is. Take a problem-oriented approach. How do you see the topic in 10? 15 years. As we improve features, there will be more excitement, more success stories, and as people hear other companies like Nubank, over time, exponential growth. The cool thing is like, we're very obviously just getting started, right? Like, so the data, right, it's organized in a way on disk such that we could project that data into any which way we want, right? Like there's so many things that you can do now that you, like once you have the data, well-known structure enable you to solve business cases that you didn't know you had. Atomic is very new. We have a pretty good path uh, to the future. We can definitely extend the test of time, I think. I think the future is bright. I, I'm very excited about the things that we're working on right now. Our team growing in size. Having more people is going to mean that hopefully we can do more. In 15 years, I hope that Datomic is um, a database that changes the way people think about how to make applications, how to store data, how to, and I hope in 15 years I see more databases that are using data log, for instance. Uh, I also hope that there's more uh, people using Datomic-like things. Probably have even more documentation and even more like best practices uh, share with our with our customers. Uh, ensure that they they can get even more uh, context about what the Datomic is doing relying on our users to maintain their databases as stable and scalable as possible. How do you see Clojure in 15 years from now? Clojure is going to maintain, uh, you know, its stability, continue to work as is, and boring and consistent and, you know, things will just keep working. I think it's going to be incredibly uh, successful. I hope to see more systems uh, built in Clojure, bringing all the good stuff to different domain areas. I think that'll be uh, that'll be a huge success. Awesome.
That's it. Thank you. Gostou desse episódio? Então curte, compartilha e se inscreve no canal.